All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's stream. Today we are building the AMX 004 Cubelay. Now this is a pro this is a prototype mobile suit for the new types uh, from Double Zeta from Zeta and Double Zeta Gundam. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of the box. Let's look at the runners a little bit here. As you can see, we've actually got a whole new setup here. <laughs> That, that is really weird, Keep Creeper Clay. That is, that's, that's ironic. That's, I like that. That's cool. So we're going to look at the runners here a little bit. My sister has already built this kit, and I don't know where she hides hers at. I know it was up on her countertop or up on her dresser here at one point, but it looks like it's probably been uh, flung to the far reaches of space by her cat. So let me go ahead and try to get all of the runners out of their packets here. Uh, so far... Far no stickers as of yet, but that does not mean they aren't in there. If there's no stickers. That kind of doesn't bum me out because I'm not a big fan of decal work. There are a lot of runners in this though. But we got CB in here. We got Creeper Clay. We got Jen. Creeper Clay, aka Zombie Dad. All right, so I'm going to. Now, I will say, this is one of the first kits I have ever ordered from Amazon that came crushed. I'm trying to show you all on the camera there, but I'll show you here. Uh, I ordered this from Amazon. Kind of a rarity that I ever order from Amazon for Gunpla. Usually I go through, like, new type or... Oh, there's the decals. It's not a lot of bad ones. Reverse twin family, really. Jen says that space buns and yeah, yep, she just said it in the chat. All right, so I'm keeping my trash bag right there. You can't see it for my head, my big head, but it's hanging down by my feet, so I can just like get my runners in there. In fact, I'm gonna close it off a little bit so that it stays shooketh. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Anyway. So let's go ahead and take a look at our runners here. We've got runner E2. That is E2 right there. So let me go ahead and alphabetize these the best I can. I'm going to keep my polycaps and my little decals up here. That's runner D. That's runner E1. So E1 and E2 can kind of sit together. They're different colors, which is weird. I've never had, uh, I mean, I've had that before, but that's kind of a weird thing. So here's the frame and body, the frame and mechanical parts are all runner C. I'm going to bring my runner table closer. Runner A and runner B and runner B. <laughs> so there's two runner Bs. And then we also get the clear yellow beam savers. That's a little different. So one of the cool things about Gundam is it, ta it takes a little liberty with its creative ideas and one of the creative ideas they had back in the day was basically instead of having you know solid weapons they wanted something futuristic and they thought the lightsaber looked really cool so they added that into the mix it's all good CB we don't if you miss a stream it's all good I'm not I'm not gonna hold that against you there's no uh, there's no point count here, so you don't have to worry about that. This looks like this is a fairly new kit because of the uh, instruction design. But I love the Cubele. I remember the first time I ever saw it was not actually in a show, but in a video game called Gundam Battle Assault. Really a neat looking suit. It doesn't look like any other suit that you ever see up until this point. Babyface! What's going on, my dude? Alright, so we're going to start building here. I need to find Runner E. Oh, come on, and already got two flies in here today that just do not like me. Again, this house isn't sealed perfectly, so if y'all see flies buzzing around, it's not my fault. Okay, I need runner E27 and E28. So that's going to be kind of easy to put together there. And I found out the other day that I don't nip these right. Yeah, the points don't matter, and... I don't know. I can't remember the line. 
from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Still one of my favorite shows, shows of all time. All right, put Runner E over there. So let's go ahead and get this put together here. So what I need to do, and I need to come, I need to bring the camera so that y'all can see what I'm doing here. I've got very limited space to work today. I really need to just bite the bullet and buy another table to put here to put to one side or the other preferably on my right side since I use my left side for almost everything I use my left side more for storage and for keeping things kinda separate uh, is that right yeah that look that, that looks right that look yeah that's right okay so the first thing we're doing is we're doing we're putting together a chest here Yeah, we, we tend to get a fly problem towards the summer months just because our house isn't perfectly sealed. It sucks, but it is what it is. And we tend to have a bug problem during the summer too. All right. So this kit doesn't like it's going to take me forever. And, and I was kind of hoping that this wouldn't be a super long kit. I was hoping it would be long enough. But unfortunately, it's not going to be too difficult. Alright, so now I need to take C129, and I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer here so that y'all can see what I'm working on. C129, okay, that's right down here by the foot, or right by the base. C130, which is a type of aircraft from the military and I knew that I love when I can remember I love when I get like random numbers that actually make out something that's actually ex in existence and C-127 wow okay so I was, I was looking at that like it was a poly cap on the instructions but it's not sleeping what's going on yep these are the hands of a supermodel here a Cro Magnon, uh, probably a Neanderthal supermodel, but still a supermodel. He is a distinguished gentleman, of course. I, I love the uh, I love the use of the Groucho Marx mask there. That kind of looks like me in a way. All right, so I've got to get that piece lined up, and I don't feel like that's lined up. It might be. And then, let's see, that needs to go like, th yep, like that. Oh, that's not lined up. Oh, oh, that scared me. I thought my computer just did something stupid. Hey, Xavier, what's going on? You know, I haven't had the urge to play Fortnite lately. I don't know what's wrong with me. Normally, I'm like, interested to try new things and get in, get involved with it. But lately, it's just been kind of blah. I don't know. Is that warped? I hope that's not warped. Alright, that's in place. That looks a little warped. I don't I don't know. Let me see if I can take that apart real quick. <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Let's see here. I hope they didn't warp this whenever that whenever they uh damaged the box. That would make me really mad. Nope, I got it now. It was just not lined up perfectly. Oh, I had it upside down there. And it fits perfect now. Okay. It just wasn't lined up right. Alright, now we need a polycap four. Now these are these polycaps aren't labeled labeled like no like lettered. Instead they're numbered. That's cool. Been good, Xavier. Been good. How have you been? All right. It says we got four viewers here. I don't know. It seems. Where is everybody today? It's kind of an empty, empty, empty area. 
All right, so the next step we have here is I need to take C123 and C122. Ah, oh, my phone's going crazy today. C123 and C122. Ooh, this is kind of this is kind of neat looking. I like this design. C123 right here. All right, and I need to take that ball joint there and make sure everything lines up like this. Okay. I don't think that really matters, but now we take that chest we built, turn it like this, and then this is going to go in place here and this goes where? that's weird oh okay it goes with this angle pointed backwards and goes into this little crevice area there that is okay so that's what we've done so far that was part of step one we're not done with that yet and again you can tilt oh I love that you can actually tilt that's actually more for the neck tilt huh there's some cool writing there alright so next step we're gonna do here is take our poly caps to the poly cap twos and those are usually used for like arm mechanics and stuff like that usually your poly cap twos that are shaped so it's not all the time that you get that but anytime you get a poly cap that's shaped like this right here kind of like a weird boot is usually going to be your arm mechanic uh your arm mechanic poly cap oh those go in so weird those don't go in like a normal poly cap. Oh, wait, how did they go? Oh, okay. And I need to take E26, which is the other, which is like the back half of the suit, I think. So this is neat. You're kind of building the frame, and then you're going to put the armor on in, in a minute. So that's different alright so I need to take the kind of odd shaped end here and I need to put this in like so no that's not in and again this is kind of my warm up build for tonight's build with Ewok over on Apprentice Ewok's channel I am so glad that I have introduced more people to the Gunpla hobby. I even have uh, our good, the good friend of the community, Salacious Rum, Mr. Rum himself, interested in building a kit. Now, he picked himself a real grade, and for from what I'm reading, the real grades are like master grades, so it shouldn't be too terrible. It's just that they're a lot, they're, all, they're only in the 1144. And you build the frame and all that, which you do that with master grades too. So building a master grade next week on a stream will be good. And I'll have to get with Salacious to see when he wants to do his. Alright. So now I've got this built. And I need to line everything up perfectly on this. So that everything just kind of comes together like that. Oh, that is perfect. I love it when it snaps in place. And we've already got our uh, we've already got our chassis built. That's so neat. I like that. So I'm gonna set that right there so y'all can take a look at that. And now we need to go to C1 runner again, 24 and 25. So we're actually cutting out some pipes looks like or some you know hoses 
Sometimes you just get to cut the hoses. Oh. Good, I see it. Didn't go far. Did not go far. Scared me because it fell as I was cutting it. I was like, nope, that shouldn't have happened. Got to move my chair a little closer to y'all here so I'm not dropping parts like that again. All right. And the way these go in, I really need a bigger workstation. That's going to be my next thing is trying to get a hold to a runner, like a runner stand, so I can put my stand and put my runners together. All right. So this goes up. Okay, I see how that goes. It's going to go... Huh, okay, that's a little weird. I don't like tiny pieces, and this is a tiny piece for sure. Oh, that is so tiny that it's almost unmanageable. Oh, I don't like that. I don't... That is That is just really... Okay, there, that's in. And now I got to do the same over here. So the good news is, I'm hoping that that is the tiniest of pieces that I have to build. And again, if you lose parts, there are stores out there, and I found one the other day that I may have to utilize here soon to get some uh, V-Fins. Only, he only sells the runners for like $2 a pop. I don't know how much his shipping is. I didn't feel... I mean, it's... Oh, no. Oh, I got it. Good news is, that didn't launch far. And it didn't break. It's just not going in evenly. It doesn't feel like it's going in at all. Like the other one, I felt it just snap into place, and it's... Oh my god, did it break? No, it didn't. That is a tiny piece, guys. That is a really tiny piece. And you have to force it into these tiny holes right there. Daniel Skywalker, how are you? Will, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, guys. Ooh, I hear thunder in the background. That piece does not want to stay in. I may have to glue that in place. I don't like using glue. or fing Actually, I use what... Actually, what I use is like... Clear acrylic fingernail polish. And it holds it in place. I'm having to move closer just because the part wants to fly out a lot. It's not really sitting in there, which is kind of concerning. There, I felt it. I felt it go in that time. Alright. That is a little concerning that it's that loose. But I mean, I see why it's loose. It's not a perfect mold, but it's in. I get it in. That, that's. I'm not gonna fight with it. If it's in, it's in. All right. Now I need to cut out more from the C1 runner. So C1's gonna be our runner for a little while, looks like. And I need C120 and C119, and they look like they're a little more manageable. Hey, what's going on? I need to get some Tamiya cement. Oh, those these fingers are going. This is just a warm up here, sleeping. Trust me. I'm ready for tonight. Tonight's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. I'm telling you right now, you've got to check out Apprentice Ewok's channel. Um, I will be on there tonight with Sleeping Collectibles, G Force Racing, Destination Stone, and Apprentice Ewok himself as we build Gunpla together. I think I had that backwards. That needs to go into that one there. Oh, and it's so close to those hoses. That is just oh, that's so crazy. But I love the I love the design of this kit. I will say that now. This kit's got a lot of just intricate pieces, intricate shapes. And if you've never watched a, a Gundam anime, I encourage you to watch at least one in your lifetime. Okay, that's in the right spot. Yeah, I see how it's supposed to go now. Oh, and that just went in beautifully. This side over here is giving me a lot more trouble than this side. This side right here is just working perfectly on all ends. 
Whereas this side over here has been giving me a little more trouble. I, I wonder if that didn't get warped a little. Definitely, dude, definitely. Alright, so I see nine people are watching. We got seven likes. Let's get them likes up, people. Let's see what we can do today. I want to see how many likes y'all can get me on a stream like this. Alright. D1. Okay, we're breaking out the D1 runner now. That's gonna be now that's gonna be some if you love the color pink, D1 has a very it's a pink runner. Like that is that is the color pink that they use. Almost like the same color as a Cold Bane Games Wolfpack t shirt. So if you want to snag you a Cold Bane Games Wolfpack t shirt, go check out the link in the in the description for that wonderful t shirt. Sleeping Collectibles has gotten one of the uh, pink shirts. The Fall Guys pink shirt. And it looks really good. It's a little tight. Their their sizes. Yeah, Sleeping got himself a nice haircut there, guys. I need to cut mine soon. It's getting a little explosive. Oh, did I cut? I hope I didn't. Oh, no, I think that just slides into place. Oh, thank God. That just slides into place and holds those hoses in place. Awesome. I love it when there's a part that does what it what I what I'm afraid something's gonna happen. It basically locks those in place. Great job, Bandai. I love that. Alright. Now we're gonna break out the A runner and again C one. So you get to those runners. I need A thirteen. We're building the head now. So there's the A runner. There is a fly that keeps touching my leg. It's like, hey, you got nice legs, buddy. I like them. They're kind of like a forest. And I need C26. Okay, so this tiny piece again. And I'm cutting over my little runner table because it's just more manageable for me. And I've, I've had people ask me where to, where to get some good, what kind of tools you need. I would say just a basic pair of nippers, some tweezers are always necessary because you're going to get some tiny pieces that may need nimble fingers. So let's go ahead and get A13 cut out here. And I saw one of my, one of the guys I watch on TikTok is a big time like Gundam builder. And he kills me with just how those Ultraman kits look nice. Will says he's growing his mane back out. Hey, cat, what's going on? How are you today? I watched Power Rangers. That counts, right? I, yeah, Power Rangers was kind of like Gundam. I won't knock it. Oh, no, I, I realized I was supposed to do something before I did this. I might be able to salvage it. Oh, those are tiny. Those are tiny. I need sticker one and sticker two. Or sticker two. Huh. Oh, that's hard to choose from. I like the green eyes. But they got it, it has green or pink eyes. My choice. So I need to take that piece back out that I just snapped in place. Easiest way to do that is to Push from the bottom here. There we go. And make a decision. Huh. Let me look at the box art. Box art gave it pink eyes. I'm going to go with the box art. Save those green eyes for maybe another, like another build. I also have the Cubely Mark II. I may just do the green eyes on the Mark II. I love the color variation of the Mark II. Instead of being white, it actually has a purple, like a dark blue, almost purple color to it. Really pretty colors. And I think I bought one for Jen as well, just because she loves the color purple, and I always try to find kits I think she would like. Uh, that would be a lot harder to do than it sounds, Jen. 
Alright, so we got the eyes in place. Oh, that sticker came up. I hate that. I hate decals for that reason. They never sit flat. And then when you go to put everything on, it just like peels right up. You almost have to do a little sanding to get them perfect. And I don't... I don't like sanding. I, I don't. Because I feel like I over sand sometimes. And again, if it's if it's humid in the room, the stickers will not adhere perfectly. There we go. All right, I'll bring that a little closer so y'all can actually see that. And that's really cool. Oh, Destination Stone, what's up? And that is that sounds awesome. That goof kit, you're gonna like that. I love the goof. It's one of my favorite suits from the Xeonics, uh, from the Xeonic front. Xeon has some interesting looking suits. Alright, so what we have basically built is the head of Cubelay. That is the head of Cubelay right there. I want y'all to see this and the shape of it there. That is the head of it. It is such a weirdly designed suit that I love. It's weird, but I love it. So we have the head built. That's going to be fun to put on. I feel like that's going to be a lot of fun to put on. Alright, so the next step we're doing here is we're now building the right arm. The right arm. You can just get the Hyaku Shiki Revive, however, not purple. But it's still a great kit based off the same design. Huh. I'll have to check that out there, uh, Mirage. Yeah, the green does stand out more, and I'm noticing that now. Too late. <laughs> uh, but I, I like the purple on... I like the pink on that because it, it shows up in the box. I would really love to eventually just like get more de get more comfortable with doing detail work and eventually building. A uh, and basically putting in like LEDs and stuff. I think that would be cool. All right, so I need D1 runner. And I think I used D2 runner earlier, which was probably okay. Yep. D1 runner. Almost wish they gave you a second head with this, and I may order the runners for that, just to have, just so I can use that green sticker. D one ten, C one eight, and C one nine are what I need. I love the sound of the run of the runners snap whenever you snap a piece off the runner, that click, click, click. It just sounds so good. And it's almost like they're giving you the the polycaps for this instead of using polycaps they're using like hard plastic oh yeah I've actually had one like that uh, Mirage that I ended up gluing the head the head that little head antenna the v-fin in place and that was I think one of the one of the old school wing kits because those that V fin came off too easily. All right, and how does this go? Um, like that maybe. Yep, there we go. And I mean that's pretty much all the stuff we built so far. Now I need to take B eight. So my choice of B8, I guess, and B5. Also, my phone is going crazy. Who is blowing up my phone? Ah, okay, I see. Just fun chat stuff. Fun group chat stuff. 
The sound is satisfying. That. Let me listen. Ah, oh, that one didn't do it. Probably because the pressure was already off of it. And there I go dropping another part. I have been terrible about dropping today. I don't know what's going on. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to check something real quick just to see. I want to look at some stats real quick. Guys, we're at 506 subs this week. That's really awesome. I appreciate all of the support y'all have given the channel. And I haven't quite come up with something yet as far as like what to do for as a thanks for 500. I'm thinking of doing another like giveaway here soon. But not right now. I mean, not right now because I've I've had a I had a, a lot of issues with the last giveaway I did. Nothing major, just a lot of mailing issues, and I've still got some items I've got to get. I've still got some items I've got to get out. Once I know, once I know more, I'll figure out something. But it seems like y'all really like the idea of giving away kits, so maybe that might be my thing is giving out gunpla kits. All right, and just sticking with gunpla kits. In all honesty, that's what I'm honestly thinking about doing now is just kind of getting out of, like, the unboxings. I don't know yet. I honestly don't know. Just because I like doing it. Oh, yeah, I was going to do a trivia contest. Was I going to do a trivia contest? Babyface, I'll tell you right now, those, those Gundam Universe figures aren't bad. I, I think they look cool. However, if you're going to nab anything, I would nab a kit. We're already up to 10 likes, guys. You guys are awesome. 22 playbacks already today. So, the next step I need is we're going to continue on with the B, with the B runner here. So, I'm going to save that. But we're going to take... C runner and D run D one runner and D one has a runner piece known as six on here and I have to find runner piece six there it is ooh I do see some runner damage not not part damage luckily but there were parts of the runner that were were damaged so again Amazon could have done a better job shipping this, and I was really upset with how they how they handled this. I never heard anything back though, and I, and that kind of irks me a little bit. Is you know you're gonna you're gonna ship a package, ship it right. Oh, I love that sound. I love that pure click when you get a when you get a piece off the runner. There you go. Y'all could hear it right there. I'm sure you heard that nice little click. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. All right, so that's gonna go. Wow, that's neat. I've never had. I've never had to do something like this. There's a fly that won't leave my hair alone. It's in love with my hair today. And then all of that's gonna go together like so. Let me bring this camera over just a little bit, or over this way just a little bit. I'm noticing that it's not looking me straight in the face. You are building your own action figure, and you can pick up. You can pick your level to. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly how this is, Destination Stone. You are so right on that. These kits really do bring out the fun in Gundam building. Okay, I gotta look at that real quick. Hey, yeah, I got that right. I got that right. It's just figuring out the alignment here. Ah, oh, there we go. That's why it wasn't feeling right. This one's a little interesting in the fact that there's a lot of hard plastic parts going together here. And I've never had that with like an HG. So that's, that's throwing me off a little bit, just a little bit. 
All right, so the next step here, we're taking E1 runner. And I haven't ha I haven't got to play with the E1 runners yet. E1 is a beautiful color blue. I love that color blue. And we're taking E1 2. And then we're also taking C110. C1, another C18. So that should be the last of our C18 pieces. And I think we're getting another set of C1. And I know we got another C runner coming up. And then we're going to take C18. Uh, hey, Jen, can you grab the house phone and call? My grandma, I uh, see she tried to call me. Ooh, sleeping, do it. I, I recommend you do it. Depends on the kit. My destiny is almost as solid as the robot Damashi I own, and it. I own of it, and heck, arguably better than the side. Oh, that's pretty cool, Mirage! Crossbones, oh, Crossbones is a, is an interesting kit. Impulse is a good start for beginners if you want if you want to experience older RGs. Build, oh no, Salacious bought that RG. I told him it would be okay. It'll be okay. It, it'll be okay. <laughs> you got to come get my phone, Jen. Jen has my phone, so if y'all see any funny Facebook posts, let me know. This time. Y'all hear that, right? She said she promised. And then I need B3. Alright, so we're getting the right arm almost finished. And I love this sound right there, that click. That click just tells me it goes in, it's going together so well. All right, so I need to. Okay, I see. See, there's that little bit of runner, run off, or a little bit of runner hang off. Yeah. Uh, anytime I see, anytime I see a kit like that given away, I immediately think, Why would you do that? Why would you do that to some poor sap? Give them, give them the hardest kit you can as a punishment rather than as a hey here's your prize you did good thank you for play thank you for entering our competition I would cry I would legit cry if I got an RG kit that was like one of the most difficult RG kits as a prize from Bandai that's like saying oh we you know we we value you as a fan here take this as punishment for being a great fan it's not going in perfectly. Let me see what's going on there. Why is that not snapping? To, there we go. Now it... Oh, there it goes. I'm sitting there fighting with it. I was like, why is this not going together? And that's what we just put together there, guys. Prudence, what's going on? Prudence says cheese. That is... I mean, look at the detail in that, guys. That's what we put together first. And that was second. So this is step three that we're on now. We're now moving into the step four range. And I got to fold my book up again. So step four is going to be pretty fun, looks like. It's it's the left arm, so it's pretty much a repeat of what we did, but it's, it's going to be using... Those, it's going to be using those alternate runners that they gave us. I will say that I love a good HG kit. 
Big cheese, small cheese. You guys are awesome. I, I, this is what I love. Cheesier the better. That's what Will says. Instead of that's what she says, that's what Will says. Alright, so we're going to take... Let's see, like this. Is there a difference? There is a difference. Hold up. Did I do... Okay. That's why that's not going in. There we go. I did it right on this side. I was kind of wondering why it didn't look right. Now I see it looks right. Okay, and I need to turn that up down. There we go. And now we're taking D17. So let's get back to our D1 runner. Plainer the worse. Me as well. You guys are awesome. I, I, that's why I love having doing these streams with y'all because y'all y'all make things a lot of fun. Ooh, this kit really is fairly simple considering it has complex pieces. I'm not complaining about that though. All right. Ah, oh, it won't leave me alone today. It's like all over me. It's like. Hey, I know you're trying to do fun stuff, but I need you to know, watch this. I absolutely hate flies. Flies are like the worst pest. And I've had some pretty terrible pests. Alright, so on the front here, they've given me four of those tiny pink stickers. To put in teardrop crevices and have them kind of fit in place. So I'm bringing that closer to me. You may not be able to watch what I'm doing there too much. That's one fly. And again, like I said, the, the reason I get so many flies is because our house isn't sealed so like it's terrible and we keep a clean house but it's just they get in and they find some way to multiply like I don't know whether there's like just and it's because we live next we live next to a cow field too so they're constantly just coming in okay I'm gonna need to save one of these pink stickers here uh, two of them came off if for some reason you do mess up a decal you can always take a little bit of paint and it makes a huge difference. The cheese court sounds like a Wisconsin like dairy crimes investigation unit. Uh, like dairy crimes municipality. You know, like basically you committed a dairy crime in Wisconsin. I was going to try to use my curve tweezers to get that, but it's just not working out for me too well. And because that's in a divot, rather than... Alright, now i got to do the same on this side over here, so I need one more pink decal. One more, not all of them. Okay. And I need to work that into place. Of course, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. That is very tricky. Because this piece is rounded, and because I'm trying to do this decal work with a rounded piece in my hand, which isn't easy considering my right hand isn't my best right now. Oh, this decal. It is driving me nuts.
There we go. Alright, that's in place. Alright, so now that we've got everything put together here, we're going to take polycap 3, which is a well-rounded polycap. Polycap 1, I don't think it's going to get used this time. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my god, that is funny. Alright. And so this, that's a weird design there. What is, oh I see. That's going to come into play here in a minute. And then this and this are going to snap together interestingly oh wow that is that's a lot of play in that and I like that oh I hate when I get like a hair on my nose And here we go. So it kind of opens up like a beetle wing almost, and I, and I like that. There we go. It's all sealed together now. You can tell they had some inspiration from the insect world. We're going to leave that like that for right now. And that's going to line back up like that. Okay. So our next step here is we're starting to work on... There's that fly. And I don't want to kill it in my pamphlet if I, if I don't have to. Alright, so the next step here is we're going to take D1 runner again, which is that pink runner right here. And we're going to take parts 1 and 2 from D1, as well as C12, or C112. D14 is barely hanging on there, and I'm afraid I'm going to lose it if I mess with it too much. C112 it looks almost like a pair of brass knuckles and I'll show that to y'all in a second to show you why I say that. By the way, Jen has my phone so if y'all see any funny posts from me on this chat, just know she's not sleeping good tonight. I'm going to snore right in her ears. But this is what I'm talking about when it comes down to thank you. I know you didn't. I see you posted on the chat. <laughs> so there is the, uh, well, enjoy your flight, Prudence, to the wonderful world, to the wild and wonderful world of Alaska. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Okay, that's interesting. Might be easier to do it. like this just start off on this end here and put all that together like so at least it landed on my pants it dropped and I was like oh and there we go so we're, we're starting to put together an arm here and I love the color combination of this kit. It's really neat. C113 and 14. So let's get those broke free. There's C113. C114. And that has got a notch in it. That is neat. So C114 goes on this side like so. There we go. And then C113 follows suit over here the same exact way.
You're gonna fiddle sticks, Captain William of Grimsley. Fare thee well, Lady Prudence. You guys rock. I, I love this. Uh, Y'all are killing me. though. Y'all are awesome. Alright, so here we go. C-111 is now our next major piece here. Oh, no. I think I cut something off I wasn't supposed to. I don't know yet. We'll find out here in a moment. I did. Oh, I did. All right, that might be salvageable. Man, they put it right up against a runner too. All right, I'm gonna set that right there. If I need to, I can I can work it out where it'll where it'll do what it needs to do. Hopefully, that's not too necessary to make things work. C-115. That, that's... no, oh, that breaks my heart there. I went to cut the runner and my finger slipped up. And I was like, oh, that's probably something I didn't need to cut. Yeah, they're all kind of jammed right up on there. That's not comfortable. A little bit of glue will fix that. If I got to. I don't think I'll need to, though. I don't think it... I think as long as one piece is there, it should be fine. And that goes in like that? No. How does that go? Oh, I see. Just like that. Alright, so there we go. And now we need C116. I've got the piece here if I need it. I don't think it's going to be that necessary. D15 which is almost like a wrist shield oh and it's right up on the runner too gotta be real careful with that and B11 so we're starting to wear B1 B1 runner down and that'll be runner pile here soon I've thought about some of the stuff that, and I've seen where people do like custom stuff. I, I like that. That actually sounds really cool there, Mirage. I like kits that have kind of odd proportions or proportions that don't look 100% like they're supposed to be. Oh yeah, that's going. That's supposed to hold the kit together a little bit, but I think I can get away with that a little bit there, because it's just it looks like it's just a little extra there, not anything too super concerning. Okay, and then how does this go? This goes okay like that. I see. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm snapping everything in place right here. The part I lost is up here. It's just an added like comfort piece there. Alright, how do they have that done? Okay, that's up and that's up up and down. Like that. Alright. And now the next step is to take B12 off. Oh, this is so neat. I'm, I'm liking the way this is set up. And I'm just going to snap all of that together. So again, like I said, that damage that just happened there a minute ago is salvageable. It's not something that's going to ruin the kit, ultimately. It was just something kind of an, as an extra, like, bonus hold-in piece. But that it doesn't look like it's hurting it too much. Okay, I was looking at it and I was like, why does that not look right? Now I see why it looks weird. So now we're breaking out that that interesting kind of mauve almost... hard. It's hard for me to say it, but it's like a 
mauve, almost like dark pur reddish purple color. And we're putting that in place in here like so. Oh, I love the way that lines up perfectly. Uh, look at that, guys. That is just, that lines up so perfectly. And then on the inside here, the detail in this kit's nice. I like that. So we really don't need that tiny piece right there. All right, now I need D1 again. And we need D1-8. And that is one of the sabers, I believe. And I'm trying to peel that off the runner there. And that's going to go in here. Like so. There, it kind of just wedges in place. I like that. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of that stuff we built earlier and we're going to find a good point right here. I like that. There we go. And then we're going to get D1 Runner again. D1 Runner is going to be kind of a popular runner for the most part on this kit. At least for the arm here. We're building the arm now. And then this is going to go kind of how do they have it? Let's see. So they take zipper in the front. The tall piece goes kind of like this. And then all of this is going to combine together here soon. All right. Now let's break out the C1 runner yet again. And I see that C1 and D and C1 and D1 are kind of coinciding with the with the part with the part of the I can't talk with the part of the uh, with the right arm. There we go, right arm. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I love those snacks, Jen. Those things are good. All right, so we've got that. We need C-132 for the thingy here. We're building some thingies. We're actually building the hand, which is really kind of odd. I've never built a hand on an HG kit like this. And now we need C-139. And it looks like you can build several different hands here. I don't think there is a blaster with this one. I think this one kind of has its own kind of design here. And I need C142 and C137. There's C137. And it feels like you could almost take those fingers apart. I don't want to. But it feels like you can almost take them apart and make them poseable. It, with a little work, I think I could make that happen. I'm not willing to put forth a little bit of work, though. That's the thing, is that looks a little too... I mean, it doesn't like they're held in by much. Gotcha. That's the other little sap sucker that was bothering me. I got him. And then I want to take that and, oh, that looks perfect. And we want to take this piece right here. There we go. And almost, almost in. Nope, didn't quite line up. Why did that not line up? Oh, 
I used the wrong piece, I think. Did I grab the, did I cut off the wrong piece? No, that's the right piece. Why did it not line up? It is. It's coming along really good, Jen. I'm liking this. Is that not the right... Hmm. I think I might have cut the wrong piece out. Let me look here real quick. C142... Okay, yep. I did the wrong I cut the wrong part out. So that is the wrong hand. That's why that's not working right. I was like, why does this not feel right? It's okay, that's an easy fix. We can set that off to the side here for the next arm, which we will be, we will be building next. All right, there we go. Let's take that thumb out. I'll we'll work that back in place right there. That looks better. That looks a lot better. I'll leave that on there because that's that's a little too hard to fight. I mean, conceivably, I could totally go ahead and build both hands since I'm going to need to do that anyway. That doesn't feel right. Why does that not feel right? I think I got them up. I think I got the fingers. Yeah, I got the fingers upside down. I see it now because it's got finger. It actually has fingernails, and I'll show you all that in a second. Just got to get the. Let's see if I can pry it. I don't want to. Oh, it feels like I'm gonna break it. Oh, this this is really poseable though. I like the I like a poseable hand. There we go. Need to turn those upside down. And that thumb looks right. There we go. That looks perfect. We'll go ahead and snap that together right there. Upside down, of course. <laughs> I, I am terrible about trying to rush to get these things back together because for one I hate taking a long time I, I'm not saying that I hate building these things because I love them but it's just I tend to get a little when I tend to rush myself that's when I get a little messed up mm, that's neat Okay, there we go, that's in place, and now we just got to put the hand in. Yeah, this one's coming along pretty quickly, guys, I like this. I really do like the design of this. It's got really nice hands. And there we go, let's go ahead and get the... I don't know you. I'm gonna have to start leaving my phone because it's just constantly ringing while I'm trying to do this. The hand does have fingernails. Here, I'll try to see if I can bring it closer so y'all can kind of see. It got really dark out there really quick. This is a really nice kit. I did not think the cube I'm already cutting off pieces and I don't need to cut them just yet. That's okay. 
So I need to go ahead and grab C2 runner now. So C1 is done for right now. C2 runner is all about the, some of the inner workings. And we're going to grab C2 8. C2 10. And another E1 1. It seems like we're doing that backwards, but then again, it could be just my... Yeah, it is going to be backwards. I forgot. Because this is the other part of the kit there, or the other part of the suit. Yeah, everything's going smoothly, and I like it. That's put together there. And now we need B16 and B13. So I already cut out B13. And I want to set that like that. B16 is what we need now. It's it's neat. Like I'm building this completely backwards from what I did last time. And I get why. I mean, I honestly do. So that's that's really cool. And it looks different too. Like Cubelay as a whole has no... Its symmetry is so weird. But I like it. I, I love the Cubelay. It's really one of my favorite non-Gundam suits. And like I said, it comes from like Zeta and Double Zeta. I never got to see those growing up, so I'm kind of missing out on those that's ah, such a weird angle it didn't go on perfectly Let's see if I can break that free there we go Everything's angled a little bit on the inside there, so you have to get it lined up just right. There we go. That's feeling a little better. And then slide that in place, and then push everything down. And eventually, if done right, which it doesn't feel like it is, that, like I said, it's a little bit bent. So you have to, like, angle your push there. There. There we go. That's in now. Alright. Not bad. We've been going for about an hour there. And we've already got like well into like half the kit done. This is really an elegant looking kit too. I love the design of this. Like I've never built anything like this before and I, I like the design. And just to kind of give y'all a heads up of what's going on tonight over on uh, Apprentice Ewoks channel. This is what we're building. This is what I'm building tonight. The Alice Earth 3 Gundam. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I really like the colors in this. The, that blue with a mixture of like gray and purple looks really cool. Does this thing have like multiple arms? That's really cool. I like the way that looks. And I'm, I'm going to be excited to build that. Uh, we will be building at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Apprentice Ewoks channel. I will be doing that from a different setup here. So it'll probably be just me on a webcam talking while we build. Because the setup I was going to use just isn't going to work out tonight. Uh, I have to, the room has to be occupied tonight. So I can't do my build 
from where I normally do. All right, I gotta turn that over because that didn't go right. There we go. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. I love the look. Of, I love weird looking suits, and not weird as in like, ugh, but weird as in like. just different I love different suits alright and that's gonna go in there alright so the next step here is we're still working on step 4 this is all step 4 stuff so I need to get C2 runner again and now we're breaking out C29 and C28 Thank you, Jen. Thank you for putting that link in there. Wow, it really got nasty out there. I'm hoping my power doesn't start doing something weird. Off-world Adam, what's going on, dude? Really loved your video today of the uh, unboxing of the care package. I'm glad you got it too. I was I was worried that wasn't going to get to you, and I kept meaning to send you some shipping information. And life, life got in the way. I am terrible about remembering to do things too. So, if y'all ever need me to do something, and you're like Aaron, Supreme Leader, whatever you want to call me, you know, hey Cold Bane, you know, just. Let me know. Just just remind me, because I'm terrible about... My memory's not the best. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see that y'all are enjoying this. Like you are. Because these are... This is very therapeutic for me. I love doing this kind of stuff. So, like, if y'all have never seen a kit built, or if you've never built a kit, I recommend going and getting you one. You can go to any hobby shop, usually. Like, I know in the States we have Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Hobby Lobby's inter got an international branch or not. But, I know that they also are big on carrying these kits, which is kind of cool. And I need to get them stickers put on eventually. And drop another piece. I tend to drop the pieces a lot, guys. Let me tilt that back up a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get all that put together there. And I'm bringing that so y'all can kind of see it a little bit. Oh, you're quite welcome. Yeah, I. So I've actually had those uh pen. I actually had those pens made from a company that promises like 24 hour shipping, and sure enough, like soon as they soon as they get everything done, I, I believe they're based out of China. Well, the wristbands I had, they were 24 hour. Basically, they they run a. Now that the wristbands are made in America, I believe, but the pens were made in from a company called JG. Uh, GJSS and I've used them once and I like them they're really really well detailed uh, pens and not terribly expensive either alright let's go ahead and get these uh, stickers on I want to get these out of the way and that should be it for the stickers I'm going to save those eyes like I said I always try to save stuff I need to go through eventually and get like all of my spare parts that I have from other kits put them in like a tackle box or something or like a like a sorting box and get all my extra, extra excess decals and stuff and save those for like custom builds like I've got some 30 minute missions I want to put together and I will put together a 30 minute mission one day for y'all All 
right, there we go. Just checking some stats real quick. All right. No changes in subscribers, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Just like to keep an eye on things every now and then. And as of today, I haven't had any problems from the uh, from the problem that we were having uh, not too long ago. I imagine once I play Fall Guys, though, that's when I'm gonna start getting some problem comments. It seems like that's what's drawing in those comments. And it was a former person who actually played on played games with us as well. I don't know what happened with them. I don't know why they've kind of turned like they have, but it's okay. Okay. Shoot. Let me know. I will be glad to help you. Ooh, I almost lost a runner there. I don't need to do that. You know I've got you know I'll help you anytime sleeping. Oh that storm sounds terrible out there. Now I need D two runner. D26 and my other C27s. I love the sound of when the nippers just go right through the runner. I love that click, click, click sound. It, it just sounds so clean. And I gotta get back to my C2 runner again. There it is. And the last two of the C7s. I will be glad to check and see what I'm being volunteered for. I know Jen said she would never get on camera, but I want to get her doing a build one day just to see... If we can film, like, her building something like this. I, I think she would enjoy doing this, not on camera. She's done one before. And, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, she killed it when she built hers. She, it stressed her a little bit, but she did well with it. put that into here and then we're gonna snap all this up oh, not quite almost did almost messed up I caught myself there we're gonna take our other polycap 3 here oh no that's that sounds pretty good That's, that doesn't sound terrible at all, because I, they sound fairly easy, and I got a buddy of mine who actually takes them and customizes them. Like he take he does like custom builds with his, and he does like photo shoots. Dude's name is a uh, Joey Dukes. I think he's on Instagram. I'll have to see if I can find his link and share it with y'all. He is a gunpla master. I mean, the guy taught me a few tricks. He was part of my uh, local build group. Which I want to get back together soon. That's why I want to get my store together. So that way one day I can like have my build group in there building for free again. And you know just having a good time. Yeah our storms aren't. Our dogs are like comfortable with storms except for one. Our biggest dog is literally terrified. And she is the biggest dog in the house. She's a shepherd boxer mix. Beautiful dog, beautiful dog. I love that dog to death too. That is, that is the dog that I claim is my dog. She is just this beautiful chestnut color. I guess chestnut's the right word. I don't know, but she is a big dog, like huge, compared to like a lab, like a lab. 
Lebs, you know, aren't that big, but they're still big enough. Big, Great Danes are big babies. I love Great Danes. My niece's uncle, not to be confused with me, but my niece's uncle on her dad's side had a Great Dane named Daphne. And I'll never forget, Daphne was the sweetest dog I think I'd ever run into. Wanted to just get right up in your lap. So, first dog, which is the big dog, is a German Shepherd Boxer mix. Our second dog is a Shih Tzu Maltese mix. Ooh, that was sharp. Heard that. Our third dog is, this is a lot, is a Chihuahua Datsun Australian cattle dog. Dalmatian, apparently. Beagle. Heinz 57 is basically the best way to describe her. Great dog, though. Really loving dog. Loves to get right up in your lap. So let's see here. I'm hoping that this storm doesn't like knock my power out. Because if it does, this stream's going to end super early. And I don't want it to end early. I'm having so much fun. Oh, she must have heard me talking about her. Because she came up here and I hear her whining. and She's freaked out by storms. I don't, And I don't get why. I love a good thunderstorm though guys that is such a it's such a relaxing thing down here I love hearing that just crack of thunder and the heavy rainfall that come from it it's something I I, I, I don't know I kind of grew up loving And then my sister has two dogs. One's a lab. It, it's not. I think there's a little mix in there. But she says pointer. We say it looks kind of pity. I don't know. I mean, maybe pointer. I don't know. And I went way far ahead here and cut this out already. Go ahead and do that just to be safe. Um, if for some reason the stream does get cut, I will try to bring it back as soon as I can. Uh, Conan, not now, bud. Oh, that is close. So just giving y'all a heads up, the stream may end a little early without me finishing the kit on here. If it does, I will show y'all the final results on TikTok. Because I don't want to save... I'm, I'm really hoping that next week... Barring any weird schedule changes, I'll be able to do Gunpla Hangar 50. Oh, he's about to tear that door down. And that's the little shit to the little shit to Ewok. What's going on? How's it going? Uh, this storm should be over way before uh, way before we get to that stream tonight. He loves just knocking on this door and making so much noise just to get attention. I, I don't understand that with him. Like, no other dog I've ever owned has been attention-seeking like him. Alright. So now I need to take... That is a good storm, guys. That is a good storm. I'm hoping that it ends soon, though, because, like I said, there's we got fun to have tonight. I'm going to cut these edges here. I'm going to try to cut right there. There we go. Alright, I didn't mess up the other, the duplicate part here. Like I did on the last one. I don't know if y'all remember that, but the last one I kind of nicked the wrong piece. Alright, so now I need to take C211. And C215. 
Oh, it's coming down good now. I think... I think we're safe for now. Because when it rains like that, usually the lightning's not too terrible. Raws F, what's going on? Blue Harvest, what's going on? Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. I'm glad y'all are watching from yours, man. That's that's really cool. Alright, so I need to take this. Put that like that. Go ahead and get that ready. Jurassic, what's going on? Ewok, how's it been, man? I'm building... So, if you're wondering what I'm building today, today is Cubelay. A really, really bizarre-looking suit. Like, it's it's way different than anything you normally see from, like, the old-school Gundam stuff. But this is kind of what it looks like here. Alright, sounds like the worst of the storm is over. I just heard the storm pretty much just... Oh, never mind! Next wave! <laughs> It's kind of like that uh, scene in Austin Powers, evacuation come, evacuation come, evacuation come, evac, 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 <laughs> it just keeps going. Alright, so I'm literally building another arm here, guys, for, for those of y'all that are just tuning in. Oh, thank you, Rozef. That's awesome. I appreciate that. We are on our way to 600 now. We just we just surpassed 500, like literally last month, and we surpassed it with flying colors. It it got close there where it, like, we were going to lose all of it, but we got it. We kept going. So I'm really excited to see where we go from here. G Force, what's going on? It does, doesn't it? It looks like Ultimate Weapon from Final Fantasy. It looks exactly like one of the weapons. And I just realized Will said that a few minutes ago, and I, tot I totally blanked. I was thinking like, pew pew weapon, not... giant gargantuan beast that destroys the world if you're not... if you're not a good boy. I'm a fan of thunderstorms, and I'm going to tell you right now, that is the most relaxing sound in the world, is hearing a good, like, rain. And it's raining so heavy that the air conditioner just now, it cooled off so much that the air conditioner just turned off, which is a great feeling. Alright, there we go. So what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm actually building... The internal works for the arm here, and it looks like I've got all that together. So now I've got to take this piece here, and I got to make sure I line them up right because I almost messed up. And just they should all snap together perfectly, just like that. And I mean, the detail in this is pretty awesome. There's little bits of detail throughout this suit that look really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this in place here. Now, that's not going in like the other one did. The other one went in perfect. This one, on the other hand, is being a little redonk. As Finn from Adventure Time would say. There we go. And, I mean, that in and of itself is such a great feeling right there. Just to get that all together and get it built like that. We've got 12 viewers in here now. You guys rock. I, I love you guys so much. You guys you guys make my day whenever you come in. When everybody comes in and just... You know, especially when I get stream rated or I'll get stream rated like that. And if y'all haven't checked out Blue Harvest or uh, his crew, y'all definitely need to go over there and show some love, give him some support. Dude makes some amazing content. He's got some great channels. 
And Rawzaf is like his right hand man, which is really cool. I, I like those guys. They're really awesome. And I've been really like digging his Englishman tries stuff on his other channel. And do celebrate. You're going to do trivia game with food challenge. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jen. You reminded me. I'm I'm terrible about remembering things. All right. Good news. Looks like we're getting just a heavy rainfall now, which makes my day better. All right. So now I need to build the hand. And with that, we're going to take the part we pulled off earlier. And then we're going to take... We're going back to C1 Runner again. C2 Runner is done for now. And C1 Runner requires part 40. So I want to cut that out. Part 38. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and cut these extra hands out. Because I know exactly what they're going to be used for. Their weapons hands. Now the question is whether or not the storm does anything further down the road because that's where our substation is for our power uh we are building right now i am building the cube which is the uh which is from zeta gundam and double zeta gundam or gundam zeta and double zeta this is what it's going to look like in the art uh, per the artwork and i'll show you all kind of a side panel there as well it's going to look kind of like this right here i'm super excited about how this is turning out there's not a lot of work that needs to be done extra to it. There weren't many decals that need to be put together either. So that makes it even more fun for me because I hate doubling up. I don't, I don't know why, but it just always irks me to double up anything. I need to see how that's coming together there. That doesn't look like that goes together. That's probably this one here. There we go. So I'm building the extra hands for like combat parts. For like whenever you need to put a weapon in its hand, like a saber, it comes with little beam sabers, which is cool. And the beams, the the handle for the saber is actually right there. Rozav, thank you for subscribing. By the way, that is, I, I really appreciate that, my friend. But yeah, we're building Cubelay, which is a really fun kit. I I never thought that I would enjoy this kit as much as I have. I thought it was going to be really just irks, like detail oriented, like super detailed. And that irks me a little bit when they get like really, really detailed. They get to be really hard then. And I like a quick build sometimes. Especially when I got another build tonight. It's so wild. Sleeping, I think you would like this one. I sent, I sent a picture to Space Buns to show her what it looked like and she was, she was like, Wow. So you may have to buy, this may be a kit, you might have to buy her. <laughs> look at, look at G-Force with some jokes. Ooh, I need to turn those fingers. I almost messed up again, guys. Putting them fingers on backwards. I love the detail in this kit. This kit is really detailed and really beautiful. And it kind of fits because in Zeta Gundam, this is a new type suit, and it's a very advanced new type suit. Almost an alien looking suit. It had me believing that that we were going to get aliens in Gundam, in the Gundam universe. Tragically, we didn't. Sadly, or sadly, we didn't in this one. I don't think we've ever had aliens in a Gundam universe. Oh, I put it on. There, I could turn it like that. And then we're going to slide this into place. 
there. I felt it click. All right. So there's our left arm there. And I can't wait to show you all some of the things this thing's going to do. All right. So now we can go ahead and start putting the upper parts together. Ah, uh, you're you are bright. Don't knock yourself there. Um, okay, I got to go back and look at something real quick. I don't think this hose on the back is on right, and it's not, because the head's not going on. There. Oh, that broke. That's not good. All right. Just had a part break off. Ah, uh, great. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm probably going to have to just glue that in place. And by doing that, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to nip this, break out my tool kit, grab, some, grab my fingernail polish here that I have. Because I don't have Tamiya paste or Tamiya glue. Instead I've got Sally Henson's or Sally Hansen's hard as nails so when anytime you break a piece it's not it's not a terrible it's not a terrible deal uh, and I see here that if I've been paying attention I don't have to glue it the good news is I don't have to glue it there was a piece right there that kinda goes in place it's going to seal that all up. However, it's really loose on there. So what I'm going to do is break out, like like you just saw, break out the nail polish, and I'm kind of I'm going to kind of put a little bit in those spots and right there, anywhere where there's going to be contact, and that should hold it in place. As long as I don't drop it right now, it'll hold it in place. Ugh. Get high off of that. A little glue would do. That's right. So, and this is my toolkit, guys. Y'all might see like everybody else has like clear plastic cases. This is my toolkit. This is this is a more advanced toolkit. Blue Harvest, what's going on, my friend? Thank you for sending people over here to watch. And Raza, thank you for subscribing again. It's really awesome. I, I appreciate everybody's support. And these, I'm going to tell you right now, these kits aren't terribly expensive. This one, this one's a more expensive at $30. Just because it's a lot more detailed. But look at that head, guys. You can actually kind of tilt the head back and forth a little bit. And as you can see, kind of goes. It tucks into the body, but it also can come out a little bit. That's really cool. I like that. I really do like this kit. This kit's a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting the body put together here. And we're going to take this side over here. And I'm going to try to push from there. And then this side over here. Yeah, Amazon really didn't do a good job of shipping this. And I was very fortunate that none of the runners or pieces broke. But that's what we've gotten built so far, y'all. And I'm going to turn it so that it stays facing y'all as we build. It's fun to balance there. We'll put these extra hands off to the side here because we're going to need those later. Now we're working on our first leg. So we need V runner. And I think I'm going to use the first V runner here. And we're going to take B4, which is, it looks like something out of Silent Hill, to be honest. It kind of looks like Pyramid Head a little bit. 
with that uh with the, or the way the foot looks it looks almost like pyramid head's head and we're, then we're going to go back to C1 runner and we're finding C14 I'm going to have to do that upside down probably all oh, right and my finger's stuck in the runner. You will find that if you stick your finger through the runner, it gets weird feeling. Blue Sasquatch. Uh, this build should take no more than about two and a half hours. Tops. Uh, I'm already at an hour and 40 minutes in. And that's with some complications and like parts not going in properly. So. About. I would say about two and a half hours because I'm already on the legs and they're, I'm already on step six and then there's step seven and then after that looks like we are done so probably about two hours tops Yeah, usually these kits do not take that long, though. Usually these kits take about an hour and a half tops. So sometimes, it, the more you kind of stop and talk and do things like that, which I do, anytime I build, anytime I'm, I'm with a build group, it's usually a lot more, to, it's a lot less time, or it's a lot more time to build, because you're sitting there talking, you're having a good time, you're, you're getting together with your friends to build this. <laughs> hey Sasquatch <laughs> I like that hey Sasquatch all right so now we're working on building the feet looks like and this one takes a little bit of a little bit of extra stuff here so I need a polycap 8 which is a kind of thin rectangular polycap so it sounds like the worst of that storm is now passed. So we are in good shape, guys. I think we're I think we're gonna have an uninterrupted stream, and which means we'll have an uninterrupted stream tonight too on Ewok's channel. I did not get my runner rack yet. Mister Sassy has arrived. <laughs> is this live? That's why I love you, Blue Sasquatch. You're my boy, Blue. All right, now how does the, where does this go? That goes here. It goes like that. I love that the instructions also kind of give you, and I'll show you all this here. The instructions kind of give you kind of details on how it's supposed to look. I was going to try to show it to you through the leg here, but as you can see right there, it shows you how everything's supposed to look, not how you're doing it. So E24 is my next piece I need. I love that sound, by the way. That that just nice click that you get. It's such a clean sound, such a very clean sound. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You guys rock. And I will say, this is such a great community. I, I really do love that y'all are so supportive of everybody here. And, you know, you help each other out. And, you know, we all kind of work together. And we, you know, we go out and share and support and chat and all that. It, it's really cool. I've... I've never had another group like this before. This is the first time I've ever been part of something where I feel like I'm actually digging this. Like I said, I've been part of another channel before and it really didn't pan out well. And looking back at it, I see why it didn't pan out well. I always thought it was just that I wasn't 
good enough. And looking back at how that channel's progressing now, I don't know, it makes me feel different. I like to stick out, so don't make me a mod. That's a funny thing, Sasquatch. I tend I used to be very mod happy. I've cut back on my modding a lot. Like I don't I don't add a whole bunch of mods anymore. Guys, when y'all see how this foot looks, it is probably the weirdest foot I've ever had to build. Oh, that doesn't why is that not Okay, that's that is weird. It's not quite lining up. Hmm. Okay, I gotta look at this just a little bit. Oh, okay, I see what's going on there. There's a little extra runoff from the runner there. That's grabbing onto that and not letting it slide. There we go. And that is a foot, guys. That is one of the feet on this. Look at the just sheer weird shape of this and I love the color change here like you don't have to do much to give that color just a little difference it's so neat alright so next up we're taking polycap 6 and C118 so go back to our C1 runner B runner is not done yet there is one piece left on B on the B1 runner I'm surprised they didn't make me build two feet at the same time, but I, I guess not. C one eighteen. Some of the some of these kits will do that to you though. They'll make you like build both feet at the same time and build like parts of the legs at the same time. Okay, so C one eighteen and polycap six just kind of slide in together like so. And that is literally another tiny frame piece. You're, you build the frame with these a little bit. It's not quite like the real the real grades where you build all the frame. I'm glad to hear that you are enjoying this, Mr. Salacious. Make some... Oh, coffee sounds good. And, I, okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't drink a lot of coffee. But coffee is pretty good. Salacious... I am excited to see how your build, how your kit is uh, going to come along there, and I definitely want to be there whenever you build it. I definitely want to join you whenever you build it, because I'm going to tell you right now, it sounds like you got a really intricate kit, not a bad kit, and I can walk you through it, but it's a kit nonetheless. Right, that slides into place perfectly. I love to hear that little click that you hear. Okay, and that's going to go right there for right now. C C12 and C16 are my next pieces I need to cut off. And again, this runner did take Looks like it got a little crush damage to to it, and you can tell crush damage because when you go to cut pieces out sometimes they're already broken off the runner they're not broken so that's the good news you know it I whenever I bought this kit I bought it off of, like I said I bought it off of Amazon and I paid 30 for it which isn't bad for an HG kit some HG kits are really pricey and some aren't all right, so what we're doing now is I think we're building the actual leg workings here. There we go. And I I love when you build the frame of a Gundam. Click equals positive connection. Exactly. Hello, Miss Lady and Rosif and Unit G. Nanny is over here supervising. He's a little camera shy today. After watching Alien, he's kind of he doesn't want to he doesn't want to be on camera. He, he he saw me scream one good time and he he 
it made him laugh a little, but then at the same time, it made him jump off the, uh, almost let go of his Boglin prisoner that he has. Nanny is holding a Boglin prisoner, by the way, guys. He does not like him. He doesn't like him at all. And you will get to see that. In her, you will get to see uh, Nanny handling his Boglin and discussing why he why he will never free the Boglin, Boglin Thursday. All right, and now we need E13 and A16. Tiny piece. And so I've decided, Salacious, I have decided, Salacious, that when you go to build yours, I will be building a real grade with you. I will join you for the first ever, for your first real grade with a real grade, so I can learn with you, and so that we can work, we can learn together. Because I've never built a real grade. You were actually building a real grade before me. And I am super proud to say that I will be there to, I will be there every step of the way with you. I'm not letting you I'm not letting you suffer alone in that. How is this supposed to go? Let me get the let me get that A16 out real quick. Because this isn't lining up the way I was thinking it was supposed to, and it doesn't feel right. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take this, and this will kind of eliminate the need to second-guess myself here. There we go. And then... These pieces just don't feel right. Am I not it on right? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. I see why I was struggling getting that onto there. That doesn't go on there. It goes in here. Just like that. So that's pretty much what we're doing there. It looked like it lined up on this, but it lines up right there. I will definitely be uh, be glad to struggle with it with you together. I do not leave any of my gunpla builders drowning, as I as I would have probably done years ago. Because let's put it this way: I've read up that the kit I'm building next week, which is the Master Grade uh, Death Scythe Death Scythe Hell Custom. Is probably going to be harder than than a real grade. All right, guys, I love the detail in this, and and that right there alone is why I love this kit right now. This is one of my top top twenty kits right now, and I'm I'm probably gonna put that in my top ten once I get it finished and see how see how it plays. All right, so now we need another polycap eight, and that's gonna go right there on that little foot area and these are such tiny poly caps that I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna drop one and I can't afford to lose any because it doesn't feel like, I don't think they gave me any extras some kits give you extra poly caps based on their size because they know you're gonna drop and they know you're gonna lose pieces all right now we're gonna be working on I got to find A7, which is already broken off of the runner, it feels like. God, Amazon could have done so much better with the shipping on this. D112. There it is over here. Alright, sounds like for the most part, my wonderful thunderstorm that I was listening to while I did this is now ending. And my air conditioner is now deciding it wants to be an air conditioner again, which is good. That's a good. That's a good thing. 
Oh, guys. Y'all, this is this is coming out. This is going to come out beautiful here. Wait till y'all see how this lines up. So I push this piece into here. And just, I love that. I love, if you see there, that pink. Hit you some D stone. You've sunk my battleship. <laughs> I love the jokes. I love gun. I love gunpla jokes like that. It's it's always funny. Cause like most of our group that whenever we used to build would do would make those jokes like that, and just everybody would bust out laughing. And I I miss my build group. I really do miss my build group. I'm happy to be building a build group on here now. And it's so good that I've got people that I can build with on here now. You guys you guys really have made this a lot of fun for me. Alright. So now we got now we get to do the fun part here of put of connecting some of these leg pieces together. So we're gonna take And I'm guessing by how this is all lining up here, you want to kind of line all that up together. This part goes Okay, with that facing that way, you want to put that part like that. Okay. And then this part goes on third. Okay. Okay, I did every I've done everything right so far. I need to find E210. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> Awesome, Salacious. A toolkit is always a needed thing. Because trust me, you're going to need those tools when it comes down to the tiny pieces, the stickers, or when cutting out your runner. Oh, I love I love a posable piece, and this is just getting you better. This, this kit keeps getting better for me, guys. All right. So now we're going to take A112. I got to find that up from the There it is, A112. And we need D122. D122 There are some added parts on here I'm looking at now. I'm wondering what they're going to go to. And I think they might be going on the back. Oh, they're going on the hip. That's right. We're building that. We got to build the hip still. We haven't built that. D122. So D122 Okay, is going to line up. That's a one twelve. It's going to kind of line up. Ah, there we go. Like so, and then that's going to fill in those gaps right there. Yeah, everything just snap. It's all snap tight. There's no. Uh, there's no glue required unless you break something, like I did earlier. If you ever break a piece, though, don't panic. And if you ever lose a piece, don't panic. There are shops that do sell uh, runners, so like the guy might go out and buy kits that he or he might get runners from other kits, and 
he sells them as is. All right, so we have just completed our first. We have just cleared off our first runner, and that is the B runner. The I call it the B one runner because there there's a there's two B runners and they're all the same. And then we're going to need D one four, which is right here. And that's going to go in that kneecap. That's actually the knee for the uh, the suit. Ooh, definitely, uh, definitely, Sasquatch. If you have any questions, let me know. I am I'm not the most knowledgeable on these kits. There are plenty of other people out there that really build pretty well. I would recommend if you do, if you want to check out other channels, Mecha Gaikatsu. Mecha Gaikatsu. I can never say his name right. He's an Irish builder, I believe. He builds some amazing uh, gunpla. All right, and now we can finally put all of this together. And like I said, guys, this is a very alien-looking kit. Like, I, I love the design of this, but that is the knee. And it has some, like, knight armor kind of deal going on here. I love that. It feels almost like... It does feel like a weapon from Final Fantasy VII. Funny fact, this came out way before Final Fantasy VII, though, so that's... you got to wonder who influenced who. All right, so we're moving on now to the left leg. Um, did I put that on? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was looking at the suit and I was like, why does that not feel right? And then I realized it's right. So now we're working on... Yeah, I'm, think, I'm thinking about maybe another half hour and I should be done with this. At most, another 40 minutes. That RX-78 you got is not going to be a bad kit. Trust me, you're going to like it there, uh, Ewok. That is Grandpa Gundam at its finest. There is... So, there's some lingo that I um, that I use that y'all might be asking. Like, You might be like, "What's a, what, why do you call it Grandpa Gundam? That ties into the fact that it is the first Gundam. It is the Gundam. If it weren't for that anime series, we probably would never would have gotten most of the other suits that we've gotten. And uh, some of these suits actually tie in well with that with the series that are out there. There's a, uh, for instance, this suit that I'm building today comes from the same universe, which is the Universal Century uh, timeline. There's timelines, guys. Blue sauce, a uh, blue sass. The Zaku was only seventeen dollars at Target. Yeah, and that's not a bad kit. That that uh, that Zaku is not a bad kit. No, no, no. There's no glue with Gundams. Gundams do not require glue. Now, there are knockoff kits that may require glue, but you don't want to buy those. They they tend to be less quality. There are okay. Now I I take that back. There are several kits out there that are good quality kits, made for. Made for the uh, off market. Okay, here we go. I lied. There are ten steps to this. Eleven steps. Eleven steps, but that's not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this up here and get these last two pages kind of ready to go here. We're like I said, this is all a repeat step here. I've got that same Zaku, but if Sleeping hadn't sent me the kit, I, we would have all built Zaku's tonight, other than uh, <laughs> Ewok and uh, um, G Force. G Force already built his Zaku, which, by the way, G Force, that Zaku looked beautiful. You did a really good job on building that. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm basically rebuilding the neck, the the same exact leg, but just reversed. And you want to take this polycap here. So I took polycap 6 and C17 here. And we're just sn sliding that in place. These don't snap because they're it's a rubber. 
versus a plastic. C25, so I need to break out C2 runner. Turn it so I can actually see the numbers. I love that just clean click sound that you get from cutting. When you cut the when you cut the plastic on these, it makes such a beautiful sound. And then you want to take this so that everything just slides into place. That's not clicking, so it's not in place. All right, that needs to. So if I'm holding it like this, there, it went in. Tried to force it a second ago and it wouldn't go. Hey, do what you want, uh, Destination. This build is for fun. That socket, so Sleeping did send me a dope kit. I got to show this thing off real quick one more time. I know I've showed this off a few times on the stream, but this is a dope kit. I really do like this, the Alice Air 3 Gundam. And uh, Mirage saw it a second ago. He's like, no way. That's really cool. That's from the uh, Build Divers uh, Re-Rise series. Uh, Build Divers is all about like custom kits. These guys go out. So the anime series is about these guys building the kits, and then they get into a video game. So think Skylanders, but with Gundam. And in that series, they literally fight off against other people who are around the world who build and fight and make these custom kits. It's all about kit bashing. The show really kind of introduced kit bashing to a, to a new audience. So for those of you unfamiliar with the term kit bashing, kit bashing basically means to take parts from one kit and to utilize it in another kit as to make your own suit. It started as kind of a trend and people started really taking off with it. And it's it's a really cool concept. I love the idea. I just I'm I'm loving these uh like that kit that I built on the Yeah, you do hear a frog. Oh, baby face, that sounds cool. I can't wait. You got to you got to get video footage of that. Get video footage of you uh, reviewing that, dude. I want to see it. All right. You do hear a frog, Jen. There's a tree frog sitting right here. That storm must have finally eased up enough so that he could come out and sing his song. Cuz he's a singer. All right. So we're starting to get some leg action there. C21. And guys, we're almost done with this runner. He likes the singer about the Nuna and the Juna and the Springer. <laughs> Thanks, South Park. I'll never get that song out of my head. Alright, so there's the knee. That's the front of the leg there. And if built properly, everything should fold perfectly, and it does. Nice. KR Sabres flagship. I'm looking that up right now. Oh man, I love that. Oh, that is, I like that. I like that a lot. G Force caught my DO reference. That's the thing, is, I grew up listening to so much, like, good music. As a kid, I, I knew about, I knew who Dio was. I knew it wasn't just a character off of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I knew that it, that that character was named for the great musician and former frontman of Black Sabbath after Ozzy left, Ronnie James Dio. And I found out about Dio of all things through uh, oh, Kill Switch Engage. Kill Switch Engaged. They were. It was one of my favorite. Uh, Songs they did, Holy Diver. 
And then after that, I went back and started listening again. And my dad was like, you're listening to Dio? I was like, yes, sir. He was like, bro, what? he was like, boy, what you know about Dio? Uh, you didn't miss much. I've, I just finished the first leg and got the kit, got the body put together. I don't know if you were here for the, for the body, but I got the first leg finished. That body is so, I can't wait to see how this, how this finishes out. All right, and I gotta line this up. Oh, that is perfect. I love when a kit comes together perfectly. Was I supposed? To, did I forget to build the foot? I did forget to finish the foot. So I need D one twenty. I was sitting there looking at it, I was like, wait a minute, when do, when do I start building the back of the foot? And then I realized, I forgot! D119, so those are clear. E2, which is purple. We can go ahead and cut, I think we can go ahead and clear E2 runner, because I know where that part's going to go next. E25, and I want to cut this out. I love, oh, I cut a little bit too much off of there. That's okay. A little battle damage looks good. It sounds like devil music. Oh, well, you know. Growing up down here, everything was devil music. Polycap 7 and Polycap 8. So we're going to use them polys. Alright, I'm cutting that out because I know... By heart, if I don't do this right, I have messed up my kit. So I need to make sure that everything lines up perfectly here. You know what I'm craving? I'm craving some duck donuts. Jen knows what I'm talking about. Duck donuts. Donuts. I can't say it like she does. I can hear right now. Shut it. This is so... And I, I'm noticing I'm, I'm getting more relaxed doing this. Don't forget BTS. BTS is such an interesting group. Like... I I didn't get into them until like I met Will's sister, who was my co-host during most of my craft videos. We went through a phase where we were going where we were going to do craft videos for a while because I got burnt out playing. I couldn't really record my video game footage anymore, so I went and did like a variety show, or a variety channel, and variety channels cost money. They cost a lot of money. New kids on the block pick. Duck Donuts is like my favorite place. And Domino's. Just seeing this foot here, that's it's so it's so trippy. Like that is that is way too trippy. All right. So let's get back to our regularly scheduled build here. We've got everything put together in that leg. And now we need A9, or A5, A9, A9. And then all of that's going to just snap perfectly together, forming that such a beautiful... This kit's beautiful. I, I love this one. I love weird shaped kits. Oh, that maple bacon donut? Oh, yes. Duck donuts?
maple bacon is such a great oh, that's such a great flavor one of the many things we can thank Canada for we can thank Canada for that uh, all for old Adam and blue Sasquatch and a few other a few other great members of the community all right I need my last polycap what did I okay I moved my polycaps around I love how they give me like a like a neck polycap and I don't need it. Oh no, I heard Jen yell at the dog. That's not good. She says her name like really, really aggressive and I'm like, oh no. That dog's about to get timed out. Jonald, how's it going? Do I have a pet frog? Uh, no, that is a wonderful tree frog. That l So, apparently here in South Carolina, we have tree frogs everywhere. And I love hearing them because they'll just sing the entire time. Like they, It's a sign of summer. And it's also a, we also say that they're, uh, that they're singing rain. They're getting excited about the rain. I love that I love the little green tree frogs. They're like some of my favorite frogs. They love Jen too. They love Jen a lot. She'll be trying to sleep and one will just come in the house and be like, Nice place you got here, bud. Alright. Guys, this is coming along good. I'm loving the way this is looking. D1. 13, that's what I've got in my hand now. And we're going to take D113 and A16, and I'm going to show y'all how this looks. Lining it up. I want to see if I can get that. There we go. Did y'all see that? Did y'all just see how perfect that lined up? That is just, I love it. Do you lick your frog? No, we don't lick frogs here. <laughs> These frogs will make you sick if you lick them. I like that question though, Salacious. I like that question a lot. That is a good question. Good question. I gotta look at this again because that's not lining up the way I want it to. Oh, that's why it's not lining up. I was going to try to catch that fly. Alright, that's looking good. And then this is going to go... Like so. There we go. And I gotta cut out another piece from the C runner. And that is it for C runner. C2 runner. Nice. So C2 is done. And I'm looking it over one more time and I don't see anything. So we've officially cleared four of our runners that we had. And we're probably gonna be clearing another one here soon. In fact, I'll go ahead and. Oh no, there's more pieces on this one. I did not see those, and I'm glad I did see those because those are going to look really cool whenever I get to put take those off and put them together. This way, this is one of the few kits that has funnels, and when you find out what a funnel is, you're going to be like, oh my god. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're doing better. Glad to be glad to have you back. I like my anaconda. <laughs> I see the answer we had there, uh, G-Force. Y'all are killing me with that. That is awesome. Alright, so that's got to go there. 
And now let's get the other piece of the kit here, which is A111. Y'all, when you see this final thing put together, this is a suit of sheer beauty, guys. It's so elegant compared to, like, the gun, the Gundams themselves and the Zakus and all that. When the, when Neo Zeon really came together and started building suits, they really were focused on finding new types, which are pilots that have like augmented reality, like augmented abilities. It'll be over soon, Jen. Like I didn't expect this kit to take as long as it did, and I've been stopping to look and enjoy my wonderful viewers as they've been hanging out with me. these wonderful wonderful people who have come here to see me build and I want to put this here so y'all can see how this goes I try I tried to line it up for y'all and it's just not it was fighting me a little bit there but look at that that is just sheer beauty coming together there that didn't feel feel right let me see oh wait a minute once I tilt there we go that's better now let's slide that into place it didn't click which makes me feel like it's not in there but it is and now we got to build the kneecap if I had to guess, I'd say it's its knee. One of my favorite lines from the Water Boy. My phone is going nuts today. It's a psychobilly freak out. <laughs> if you've never seen the Reverend Horton Heat live, I recommend that as one of your concerts before he retires. Really a great show. Really, really a great musician. I love the Reverend Horton Heat. And he cares about his fans, too. Like, if you're out there swinging your arms around and, like, trying to punch someone in the face, yeah, he's not going to like it too much. She sent you a house. <laughs> well, I guess y'all are moving closer to Duck Donuts, then. I'm glad I, I'm glad that that's a big piece that just flew. And now I'm going to perform a magic trick. I'm not bending down to pick it up. Got it. <laughs> I hope y'all like the crazy look on my face as I did that. All right. I love the detailed pieces in this. Th that makes this feel really unique. I love unique kits. I love kits that have a lot of details and a lot of moving parts. And this is one of those kits. Poseability? I feel like this is going to be a monster to pose. I, I don't know. I just got that feeling, guys. Alright, we're working on the waist now. Step one, we need to take A15. So we're, we're getting closer to being done. The waist is usually the last thing you need to build before you put the thing all together. You're not moving until you fix that door. You need to fix that door sleeping. Ooh. Alright, hold up. I gotta go back and see where we're, where we're going. Cowfish. I gotta check that out. Yeah, he's probably gonna move to Alaska. Because he loves snow, y'all know. Not gonna right now. Simmer down, Coldbane. Simmer down. 
you know, I gotta say right now, it. I don't often make friends, but I feel like I've made a lot of friends in this community that I can really call friends. Like, people I can actually call and talk to or, you know, get online and talk to. And I feel like a lot of y'all are here today. A lot of y'all have been here supporting me since, you know, day one, and it, it's really awesome. I love it. I really do love this. I love getting on here and doing this with y'all. Don't worry, Jen. By the way, if you're getting, if you're getting hungry, the good news is... We're building the waste. Okay, I need C121. I hear a doggo outside my door. There is a doggo outside my door. I wonder if it is an American dog. That's my best Sam Eagle. That's the best Sam Eagle y'all are going to get from me. I love the Muppets. That is like one of my few favorite like puppet shows that I absolutely just have to watch over and over again. All right. I was trying to get that to line up and I was like, why is this not lining up? It's lining up now. Thought it was. And this is supposed to go... Oh, okay. Nope, nope. Come on out. Come on. Firmly release. Thank you. So this is supposed to go... Like that. Okay. Okay, I got you. I see what you did there, Bandai. That's actually pretty cool. And I want to show this to y'all. So anytime you see a hole right here, Camden, that's not a bad area either. But And that's kind of like, that is equidistant. This right here is where you can put a stand. That is a stand hole. So basically, if you're wanting to pose your Gundam in flight, you just plug it into there in that kind of hip area and that's where your stand plugs in. It's a really great it's a really great piece there. Really I just want to show that off. Jen's like quit showing off holes. Ready to eat. It's only four thirty. Yeah, it's it's a good like halfway point there. That would be epic, uh, Mirage. I want to see pictures when you do it. I want to, or either a stream. I want to see something like that. And guys, just like that, we are we're plowing along pretty good here. The A runner is almost done. The D runner is close to being done. The D one runner is close to being done. Oh, it is 5.30, huh? I lost track of time. My bad. Yugi boy. <laughs> Yugi boy. If you ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh, that guy, Maximilian, uh, what was his last name? What was Maximilian's last name? I can never remember. Pegasus. Maximilian Pegasus. Hello, Yugi boy. Don't you have the Millennium Puzzle? <laughs> it just it creeps me out so bad. Let me see here. I think that's supposed to go like that. Yep, there we go. And I want to kick those up. It shows me here. There is a... Okay, yep. 
that's how that's supposed to go. And there we go. There's that's the hip so far, guys. We are not done yet. Again, this is a pretty intricate kit. I need to take A4 from the runner here. There's a lot of runner pieces that are coming off. And I wonder if that's because of the damage or what. But A4. And then we're going to take D116. There are, there are a ton of funnels on this, and I'm a little bit concerned about them funnels because they're tiny. They are really tiny, guys. And this is another one of those fun, once you get it in place, just slides perfectly in place. And that's going to go on the front there. Yeah, Max Meme. I was wondering where Sleep Willie went off. Yeah, I've tried. Will doesn't really get into the kits like I do. That's it. Okay. All right. So we've built this, and now it's time to put the whole suit together. We're not done yet, though. We still got the backpack to build. Once we get that backpack built, that's going to be a whole different piece. That's going to be a, it's going to be a whole put together suit. By the way, this is probably the most intricate suit I've ever put together, but it's also frustrating me a little here with that leg joint. I probably should have put the legs on first before I put the body. Yep, I should have put the legs on first. Let's see if I can take that off the. There. That way I can lift up these hip pads here. There we go. That'll make that easier. Slide those legs on. Bring those hips down. And that's what it's looking like so far, guys. This is really nice. Will is a good dude. Will's a great dude. He he really is like a brother. He is a brother. Let's just say that. There are a few people I ever consider part of my Ohana. We may not be by blood, but we are family. We are family. I'm running out of space in my trash bag here. I really need to get myself a good, like trash box to put all my runners in so that at the end of the month whenever I go to take out trash. Alright, now we gotta take C128 out. This is gonna be fun. We are down to just a couple of runners left. They've got funnels in them. So that's gonna be fun. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need to take D111. And D114 out. Now this is the funnel backpack. So in the in the series these suits fire off these little tiny rockets called funnels. And the funnels are like these little rocket propelled guns that fly around the suit and add an extra like defense mechanism it's basically the replacement of a gun and they're controlled telepathically I believe by the suit through the suit it's really cool really weird but really cool I like it I don't think that's on the right. It says it's supposed to like go that. Okay, there we go. Got it in place now. And now this. Whew. 
goes in perfectly like that. I like that. And then this seals all of that together. So you see these little blank spots here? That's where our funnels are going to go. We are literally down to our last section of runner parts here, which is the funnels. And then we got to cut the sabers out. And I will, I will show. I will actually put a saber together for y'all to show y'all. So these runners or these funnels are tiny, guys. So I'm a little bit nervous taking the, cutting them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna firmly but carefully pop them out. I think I just snapped my fingernail. I did. Fingernail just broke doing that. I broke a nail. All right, I'm gonna set that down there. That way I can. There. Had to just peel my nail because it snapped as I was snapping the fun funnels out. There, these are tiny pieces, guys. I mean, these are really tiny, and they give me a ton of them. So I've got some duplicates if I ever lose any, I guess. Or if I, it, I don't know if they gave me an. They might have given me enough for the whole pack there all right so what I've got to do is I've got to get a funnel in and I've got to see how these go in all right so the funnel goes kind of in the backpack firmly in there and some of the some of these newer kits Oh my god, Jonald. I'm I'm glad you were doing better cuz that sounds that sounds terrible. Definitely I'll save those sprues for you, G-Force. If we ever make a trip up that way, I'll I'll give them to you. I'm about to say if you want the sprues, dude, I'll save them. From now on, I'll just keep them in a. I'll keep them in a box, and then I'll get them to you. I'm glad to hear you're back. You're with us still, Donald. That's scary. Cubelay is huge, but graceful, just like a, just like a. Mirage said, "Very huge, but graceful." All right, we're on the last set of funnels here and they give me enough funnels and the only reason I'm pushing these with my finger rather than cutting them is they're in there so tight that I'm afraid that if I try to cut I may end up like messing up something so I'm gently pushing them forward to release them G-Force I will definitely save these sprues for you dude I've got a box I can put them I can start putting them in. That's so epic, Donald. I'm so glad to hear that you know this is that this you, that it's inspiring you. Cuz some people some people have a near like a near death experience or a really bad health experience and it just freezes them in place like they lock themselves up they don't ever want to they don't ever want to live anymore it's like they, they're they're afraid and I can't be like that that's 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 not me I've I've had my I've had my close calls never a near-death experience but close calls and it's it's a scary thought Alright, so that's what I just did, is I took all these little tiny cones here, these little cylinder looking things, or these little beaker looking things, and I just put them in there. They can come out, and you can actually pose them with a little bit of wire. But let's get that on, as, let's get this on the back here. There we go. 
and there is our finished kit. And I love the detail in this kit. That thumb. Oh no. There. One of the thumbs was pushed up. So now let's let's get into the uh and I need to find me a box to put these sprues in. Jen, remind me to save these sprues. Because I have a bad habit. And I've got some from the last build I did. That's cool. G-Force, I'll save them for you. We'll have to make a trip up there sometime to come visit with you. Plan a, I'll have to plan a weekend trip. Here, I'll take one of the hands off so you can see it. Oh. Oh, it tumbled and it scared me. Because I've got to take the hand off to get to the saber. So let's put a beam saber in place. We'll swap out a hand here, and I'm going to show off that hand real quick. Let's see. Funny, Jen. But that's the hand right there, and I don't know if y'all can see the fingernails too well. Oh, my camera just lost its focus there for a second. Music is an amazing outlet. Alright, let me see. i got to find the hand that matches. And I'm going to put a saber in that hand. And there is the saber right there, guys. Look at how that looks. I love that yellow. That yellow is such an amazing color. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start showing off some of the poseability here with this kit. So again, the head I showed y'all the head, the arms. That is a good pose for the arms, and I love the way this kind of spreads out a little bit and opens up. Kind of turn this so y'all can see that just the detail inside the suit too is really good this is a nice kit again poses like that you can turn the arm and pose it as many ways as you want to those knee those knee uh, armors there look really good the foot has full range and bendability there to make it really more posable the knee itself has a great joint and the hip has great joints too I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. This is a really detailed kit, guys. Bandai really killed it with this one. $30 was a good price for this, too. Like, There are some kit kits that are that detailed that go for like $50 to $100, and that's $30 for this wasn't bad. I got this off... Again, I bought this one off of Amazon. You could probably still find it on Amazon. And... It's really, really, a, like I said, it's a great kit if you're looking for something that has, like, some detail to it. Now, I want to see how it's going to do. I'm glad they gave me a deep box that stores perfectly. I love that the uh, sabers go back in the wrist. But I'm going to leave that out. I'm also going to cut out this other saber here. Just for future use. And that's our kit, guys. That was a fun build. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I was a little bit intimidated by this. But I will say that that was a lot of fun to build. Um, again, this was... Well, we could plan a trip one day, Jen. So that the cool thing about the all-white ones there, G-Force is you can paint those any color you want to. Alright, I found my first flaw with the kit. So when I was doing my posing there, it came loose from its hip joint a little bit. And that's okay. It's going to happen. And that just came off. Alright, so I'm already starting to have some parts fall off with, from posing it. However, they're super easy to get back on. In fact, I'm bringing it closer to me to put them back on. 
I haven't lost any of the funnel, uh, any of the funnels yet, but it's a great looking kit. I really do like this kit. I like I like Cubelay. I have the uh, Mark II Cubelay that I can't wait to put together one day. That may be the one I do after next week's kit. But that's this is it, guys. This is the amazing Cubelay. I love this kit. What do y'all think of this kit? I mean, it's I mean to me this is like one of my favorites. I I've never put one together like this before, and I'm loving this. This is this was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's so that's gonna be it for today's build. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all can follow me for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok, all of those amazing sites. Follow me on there. Check out some of the stuff we do on on any of those sites. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the build, what you'd like to see me build next. Check out the links in the description for all of my awesome friends and their awesome works. Tune in tonight at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time as we get together, and I will be building yet another kit. Let me move my sprues over here. I'm going to get all those out of here in a minute. But we're going to be, I'm going to be building another kit with Apprentice Ewok, Sleeping Collectibles, G Force, Destination Stone, and myself. As we build the Alice Earth 3 Gundam. I'm building Alice Earth 3. There, I've got a couple of Zaku builders. And a couple of Grandpa Gundams being built. Or a Grandpa Gundam being built. I can't wait to see everybody tonight. Uh, make sure y'all join us there. It's it's such an awesome... This was such an awesome build. I, I'm glad y'all stayed tuned in to watch this. We had 83 playbacks. We had 18 likes tonight. You guys killed... Or this afternoon. Y'all, You guys killed it, as always. Just a wonderful group. But uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Much love, and Asvidanya.